Hey Lauren, so I'm going to create an example for you in my dev store uh, as I'm not sure I have access to your store and this store is not on Shopify so it's probably another store. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you will understand the logic and you will be able to replicate. So in your example you want to give a discount if someone has 12 or more of product A and you want it to be product A but on some specific variants, right? So <clears throat> let's say I want to discount, I'll just take a product of my store. While I do this I'll also create a coupon code because we need a coupon to be able uh, admin side to, to create a rule and then to for the app to trigger and apply the discount automatically it needs a coupon code and uh, the coupon code will be for example a fixed amount let me check 15% now it's 15% okay I'll call it get 50 coupon whatever and I need to select a specific product but in your case I need to select a specific variant I don't think I have product with variants in my store but anyway if I add variants you would see more options there and you would be able to select only a variant from here so in order to make a good example I will add a variant and I will add um, well classic one colors so I will add a black and a white variant so we will have two let's call it uh, let's call it color So here the discount will be only on the black and not on the white. Well, my products are free, but it's the same uh, logic if the products got $7 and well, I'll put the same price because it makes no sense to have different prices on different colors <laughs> in this case. So I will get the coupon code that is there and if I go inside my app, you can do this with basic rule and you can also accomplish the same thing with advanced rules. Advanced rules will cost $49.99 one time fee more than the basic rule uh, but it's easier to achieve but in order to save you 50 bucks I'll show you how to do it with basic rules. Make sure you select basic rules here. I'll paste your coupon there and in your case it will be the number of the same item because I want to have I want to have a 12 uh, of this product and actually I want to have 12 of this black product so well you could do 12 of these products and only apply the discount on the black variant so if you have six white and six uh, black then the discount would be triggered and fired but only the six black would be discounted or you can do you really need 12 black of this product 12 black variants to be able to get the discount so these are two different things uh, I'm gonna show well if you do only this and you click save this accomplish the primer which is get 12 of product A six black six white nine blacks three white whatever but only discount the black variants or you can also go to restrict 
the firing, the triggering of the application of the automatic discount with a variant. <clears throat> the variant is black in this case and it's it needs to be the same name and it's case sensitive so it needs to be exactly this. So the variant title is black and I want to trigger this coupon only if 12 of the same item of the black variant are present in the cart. And you can also say, well, I do not want to trigger this discount if any other product or any other variant are present in the cart. In this case, I don't think it's the case for you.